my weekly career power Tuesday tips for you. And I have a challenging one for you today, which is to invite you to play the game of extreme responsibility with me today. So we often feel stuck in our careers, don't we? We feel frustrated, maybe overlooked, overwhelmed, underpaid, undervalued. Like if you don't feel like that, hooray, more power to you. But I know that many people do feel like that. It can all be a bit much. And the extreme responsibility game that I'm inviting you to play is to take extreme responsibility for everything that you are experiencing. Now that's challenging. That means you take responsibility for the fact that your boss is not treating you very nicely and you take responsibility for the fact that there is some uncertainty or instability in your professional life right now and you take responsibility for the fact that you feel the need to work weekends. It's challenging and It's hugely empowering to take that position because all of a sudden it becomes your choice. And if you play that game of saying, right, it's all my responsibility and therefore it is all my choice, then you empower yourself to choose different. And look, choices have consequences. So yes, you may decide to choose different and that mean you don't get through all of the work you've been asked to get through this week. Or it might mean that you miss an important email because it comes in over the weekend and you decide to ignore the ping or keep the laptop closed. And that may have some consequences. But if you feel stuck and miserable and disempowered in the experience you are in, then you might as well at least consider and look at what an alternative choice might look like for you. And when, oh, a crucial distinction, by the way, before I move on, taking responsibility is not the same as taking blame. So if we take responsibility for the fact that that big pitch or presentation fell flat and went badly, to take responsibility is to say, it's on me, I'm going to figure out what I need to learn and I'm going to make a choice to make sure I do better next time or to forgive myself, right? That's taking responsibility. To blame myself is to say, I'm useless, that was rubbish, God, I'm so bad at this, Uh, you know, it's, it's to wear it heavy and feel kind of heavy with the consequences. And actually the best antidote to blaming oneself is to look for the learning what is there for me to learn here? Maybe about myself, maybe about the situation around me. And that is also much more empowering. So I guess this extreme responsibility, actually, as I talk it out, is really the best tip I can offer you for feeling more empowered within your life, within your career, certainly. So look for areas of responsibility. Don't blame yourself but recognize, or if you want, play the game that says everything I experience is my responsibility. And there are two ways to recognize that responsibility. The first is to look inward and say, I can't always completely control the landscape around me, but I can, theoretically at least, control the way it makes me feel and the action I take in response to it. So looking inward in those moments when things perhaps, when you are not experiencing what you want to experience is a great place to start. The other place to look for responsibility is out there in the space around you. If there are things taking place around you that make you unhappy, that give you an experience that you don't want, then the other place to take extreme responsibility for is the choice you are making to stay in that environment that makes you unhappy. And look, I'm talking about professional things here because that's my bag, but this stuff also goes for relationships, friendships, 
activities that I do, you know, if it's bothering you and too much work to help the local football club to be their treasurer, you don't have to do it. That's a choice you make. Maybe it's a choice you make because you feel a sense of duty or obligation and there may be something for you to learn within that. Sometimes my value around duty and obligation means that I lose my sense of self-care or self-worth and I get taken advantage of, whatever it may be. So extreme responsibility. Don't blame yourself, but look for the ways in which the decisions you are making are creating the situations and the feelings you are experiencing. Look inward for the way you are responding to external stimulus and see whether there's work you can do within that and look outside at that external stimulus and ask yourself, is this miserable? Is this no fun? Why am I doing it? What would it look like to choose different? And allow yourself to consider an alternative choice. You don't have to be stuck in that sometimes gold plated cage that you are in. You could choose different and that choice might have some different downsides and some different consequences. But if you feel that you need a change, well, look, that change isn't going to come by blaming or feeling frustrated or resentful or downtrodden. It's going to come when you start realizing that everything you experience in your life is, is a marriage between external factors and your internal response to those external factors. And the game of taking extreme responsibility is to imagine that 100% of that is of your own creation. Now, look, I know that sometimes tough things happen to us in life, so, and, and truly are bad luck. So, look, we'll leave out the the 2% of things that really are force majeure and that you couldn't possibly have have kind of influenced yourself. But the 98%, so much of what you are experiencing, it's your responsibility. You create it. And because you create it, you can create different. I know that's a really challenging concept and I know that it works. I know because it's worked for me. And it's worked for the myriad clients that I support day in, day out on making these changes by playing the extreme responsibility game, amongst other things. So my career power tip this Tuesday for you is get extremely responsible. Look at what you don't like in your working life and notice the way you are responsible for creating it. Ask yourself, how would I love it to be different? And what is the breakthrough I would need to have to create that difference? And I would love to know what you get from those two questions. Feel free to drop me a note in the chat below, or if it's secret stuff, feel free to DM me and let me know privately, because I'm always fascinated to hear the insights that open up for people off the back of these sessions. Have a great, responsible, empowered rest of your week, and I'll see you next Tuesday.